All right, so the last couple of days I was messing around with GNSS SDR. I, I swear I looked at it in the past, and, and I don't know why I didn't uh, dig into it a little bit more, but uh, I'm just going to show the steps that I'm taking to install in Dragon OS, and the plan is that uh, I would just include GNS SDR uh, pre-installed on the, on the War Dragon because I have a little more flexibility in there uh, in the storage space and whatnot that I can do versus what I can in the ISO. I'll look to see if I can maybe make this an installable package. You definitely don't want to try and install GNS SDR from the stock Ubuntu repo because that's going to, well, it's just going to pull in some of the old GNU radio stuff and everything else. So let's say you have Dragon OS Focal X installed and you want GNS SDR. And what, what is GNSS SDR? I guess I should explain that. So by the end of this, I hope that I'm going to be able to take my RTL SDR. In this case, I have a, well, I have a V3 and a V4, but I'm just going to use the V3 that is connected to a uh, RTL blog and older, the patch panel uh, antenna that can receive uh, when powered by the BIAS T. And the SDR can receive, uh, you know, GPS, um, what, MRSAT, uh, things like that. And so hopefully we're going to get a, a, a fix, a, a GPS uh, location or position using only the RTL SDR. And so there's some videos out there uh, using the HackRF and everything else, but I wanted to try with the RTL SDR in Linux. Okay, so I'm on the GNS SDR project page. Uh, we're going to get clone that down here in a second, but I just want to scroll down to the installation section where it talks about the packages that you would need, specifically in Debian and Ubuntu. If we copy uh, this here, now I will admit I, I did run this uh, a little while ago, so if we copy this here uh, as to what they're saying install, there's three things that you want to remove that's already in Dragon OS. As a matter of fact, it won't even let you install it um, if you try and just copy and paste it as is, it'll come up with some issues. So remove libuhd, GNU radio dev, and gr osmo sdr. That's already in Dragon OS, kind of uh, a custom build. Everything else you want to go ahead and install. Uh, it'll probably be about a 60 meg download install. And then you will have uh, pretty much everything that you need when it comes time to compile this uh, code. So I'm just going to copy uh, and get clone this down. Now, once it's uh, on the War Dragon, it'll probably, you'll probably find the GNS SDR source code in the user source directory. That's where I usually put everything, but here I'm just in my home directory. I'm going to cop or uh, get clone this down. So we'll change directory. There's already, you know, usually you make a build directory. There's already a build directory. I'm just going to see if my history has, uh, let's see. All right, so my history doesn't really have what I'm, what I'm um, looking for here. So what we want to do is I'm just going to run... Uh, See make here for a second and just let it go through just the default settings and then we're going to add a couple things. I'll show you how we'll do that here in a second. So we can see what it did enable up at the top here. The following features have been enabled. We want to enable a couple more. And so just to try and make this somewhat easier, let's see, GNS SDR, change into our build directory, and we're going to do CMake dash D enable underscore, uh, let's see, Osmo SDR equals on, capital on, we'll do dash D enable, I'm not going to really use it for this video. But we'll just go ahead and enable SDR or uh, Lime SDR. Let's see what else do we want. Gperf, Gprof, possibly. Uh, we'll do de-enable 
open so this is on the war dragon and I know for a fact I have open CL installed so you just have to see if you have you know Nvidia on your uh, dragon OS install and you've went the route of CUDA you could probably try that it does say experimental not super familiar with the FPGA part what that's actually if offloading that onto if it's something edis related uh, Google Glog that if I don't even put that in there it is automatically um, downloaded uh, let's see what else yeah that should be this should be fine and we'll do dot dot forgot one open CL equals on now that GR Osmo SDR is important um, to make this work so we'll do with the uh, RTL SDR make uh, let me see uh, dash J4 so we'll build this and because it's going to take a little bit I'll kind of move on to what else I want to talk about which is there is examples in here under um, under conf, I think it is, you will find various different configuration files to include an RTL SDR one. I've not found that one to work. And interestingly enough, on the gnssdr.org page, there is a subject uh, page that talks about the RTL SDR RTL 2832 dongle. And if you scroll down uh, more than halfway down the page, it talks about the new blog 3 dongle and, and then it gives a full configuration example file here that is different than in the repo so if you copy that I made a folder on the desk called, desktop called GPS uh, because when I run this application we're gonna get a lot of files log files that are produced KMLs if we get a position so on and so forth so I just wanted to not clutter everything up I got a GPS folder and I've got this configuration file that I copied and pasted in here. The only thing that I changed, uh, if I look down through here, is this second block. I uncommented the signal source uh, to indicate, hey, RTL, um, if you have two RTL dongles or whatever, you're gonna have to change that RTL1, RTL2. I've only got one in there, so RTL1 and then the bias equals one is gonna turn the bias T on. There is some other settings in here that I was reading that you can find tune like the channels 1c um, Doppler max and steps you know the, <laughs> a lot of settings in here you can probably fine tune in fact if we get to the end of when this is building we're, we'll see that there's like a front end cal calibration program that's built but for whatever reason I've not seen that uh, work yet and that should give you some additional information on uh, settings that you may be able to change in here specific to your SDR so you may find that this works and gets a position fix for you right away um, you may find that it doesn't uh, I waited one time 15 minutes or so and got a lock I stopped it started it got a lock under five minutes um, we'll see what happens this time I'm hoping that it's a pretty quick lock to just kind of go nicely with this video so I don't have to sit here forever but uh, we'll see uh, so let's see I'm gonna close this out minimize and I will be back here shortly once this finishes uh, building all right so uh, we're finished here you'll see that front end cow that I'm talking about so at this point uh, you can either do sudo make install or something a little bit different you could try sudo check install um, I'm hitting number two here I'll just call it uh, GNSS SDR to match the package name from the repo hit enter do you want me to list them no should I exclude them yes no yes you can see where it puts the default configuration files to user local source you know so just keep that in mind uh, if you want to try out different SDRs you also would want to run uh, Volk and then there's Volk uh, GNS SDR which I probably should do 
Uh, I guess we could. I'll just try that after the fact. I'll try it without it, but that that obviously uh, will do a sudo ld config even though the dev package is installed. So at this point, we should be able to plug in our RTL SDR. We'll go uh, home dragon desktop GPS. And if we run GNS SDR, so now it's a, you know available command line there. Uh, let me see. Maybe it's help. And we want the config file. Of course, there's a lot of other settings that can be changed. But if we do config file, what do we name it? GNSS, GNSS-RTL conf. Now I'm going to run it. We should see navigation messages, but obviously I'll just blank out uh, my position. So hopefully this will go quick. Hit enter. Now if you don't see immediately like this tracking of GPS satellite information, you may want to check that your bias T is actually on, which sometimes I've ran into even though we told it to be on. It, for whatever reason, it gets stuck. It's not actually on. And you may have to, um, that's the nice thing about the V4, you can see the little light and know that it's on. Or of course you could always use an external uh, bias T. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to have just another, okay, well I didn't actually, let's see. Height. So I didn't actually, uh, open that up and enough that's why you're going to see a little cut in there so behind here we can see it says position at and then a time height velocity so on and so forth behind this the, the, the black terminal screen I've got you know of course it's showing the real lat long and that was surprising that was under we can see I've only been running for that was under a minute that it got that lock this time so from the time I started it about 35 seconds in it got a position lock so I don't know why sometimes it's faster than others but there you go that's at least what I did to get up and running with GNS SDR with an RTL dongle and yeah I think that's truly about it alright thanks for uh, checking this out